G'day, welcome to this video, another one in the series where we're giving you information to help you set yourself up and your motorcycle for track days and get the most out of those track days. In here, what we want to focus on is the most common errors that occur on the track, according to the people who are experts out there. People are on track all the time, uh, either racing or doing track days or coaching professionally. And uh, these are important points to take away from here. Now, the reason we're doing this is you make these errors on track in, you know, the best case scenario is you, you just don't get a good result. You don't go as fast as you possibly could or you possibly want to. The worst case scenario is you crash your motorcycle, you know, you could ride it off, but even worse than that, you could end up injuring yourself and hurting yourself in a way you know, that could be permanent. So we should be avoiding making these errors. We should be out there on the track learning to ride better, to ride faster and do it in a safe way at the end of the day. So, uh, you know, none of us have got MotoGP contracts, so uh, there's no point in us going out there and just flogging ourselves with bad technique, crashing our brains out. So uh, have a listen to these people who are all professionals in this field. What are the two biggest technical errors track day riders make on track, in your opinion? Lots of errors with the gas. So yeah. the, the, the biggest thing that puts riders at risk is um, throttle errors. Uh, you yeah. know, we talk about gas and lean. Yeah. And... But there's, there's probably, I've got three. So one, the, the biggest error is charging turns, which is yeah. guys trying to go fast. That puts a lot of people at risk and then you end up with a whole bunch of throttle errors after it. Yeah. Number two is throttle, throttle errors, yeah. uh, particularly gas and lean, trying to do those two things at the same time. You just end up crashing. Yeah. And lastly is just the connection to the motorcycle, just body position errors, not understanding how to connect uh, yeah. And also, you know, throwing their body weight at the bar to try and steer the bike. Those yeah. three things are what cause riders uh, or put riders in the greatest risk in my yeah. opinion. First would just be choosing the wrong line, probably. Yeah. Like like I said, if, you, if your line is no good, everything from there is, is, is no good. So uh, yeah. having a good line uh, will, will give you a good base for everything. So that's probably number one um and also having when i say good line it's got to be workable for you is probably like i see one of the biggest technical errors would be people trying to replicate other people's lines without the understanding of why or having the skills to do it so you, you can quite often see like a, a, a rider trying to copy someone else but it's it's going wrong in all sorts of ways because they just don't have the the foundation there to achieve the same result that that person is doing so line would yeah. probably be the first one making sure that the line is right for you for you and and for the track yeah. uh, and the second one would be going in too slow like obviously corner entry speed is not easy uh going in faster and faster you know requires more skill it gets you a little more excited or afraid depending on which way it goes right. but um yeah so but going in too slow then creates a whole lot of problems for the rest of the turn which mostly yeah. is rolling on the gas too early you roll yeah. on the gas too early you start going wide you start leaning the bike over more and then you know suddenly you're starting to compromise the amount of traction that you have so it yeah. usually boils down to the entry speed is just too slow which is, yeah. I guess, understandable, but that, that is one major technical area that we see. I don't know how many times I've seen people say, I'm tired, I'm not doing it, and then they go out anyway. So riding fatigued. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if you feel like you're, uh, if you feel like you've had enough, pack up. Um, mm -hmm. Things can go pear shaped pretty quickly. And, you know, and if it goes pear shaped, you know, it could be a, a low side and you scratch your bike, or it could be a low side, you hit a curb and, you know, break a hip. So, you know, the, the difference is, is not much. Um, yeah, right. So if you are fatigued, um, you know, go home um, or pack up, stand around and have a chat with people and be sociable. Um, I see a lot of um, uh, in winter, um, especially, and I know we're in southeast Queensland here, so, uh, but I see, it, I see it, you know, obviously you don't ride in winter at the island, but I see it in other tracks, you know, like we ride in New Zealand all the time as well. You know, going at first session, you know, tracks, Terribly cold. Everyone gets all excited. They haven't been to the track in a while, and then you know their uh, their bikes on the uh, you know as uh, Gary uh, in New Zealand calls it the trailer of shame on the first session. So you know it's uh, you know, 
it, it's pretty predictable that the first session is not going to have yeah. the best brick. Yeah. Um, so you know, I would I would say you know ease into the day, um, and uh, and if you are fatigued, then uh, you know I would uh, have a couple of beers in your rescue that you get out early rather than uh, rather than not get to them and have someone else drive your car home. Well, there's only a few technical errors you can make, aren't there, Billy? Really? Yeah. Uh, wrong place, so wrong location, yeah. and wrong speed. Yeah. Um, and that can so wrong location can be too wide, too tight. Yeah. Uh, wrong speed can be too fast, too slow. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, when they make an error like that, there is a tendency to then try to correct it. And it's the correction that starts to get them in trouble. Right. An example of this is um, if a rider wants to go faster entering a corner, the most common tendency would be to brake later. And that's, and, and if you listen to any MotoGP commentary, that's what you, yeah, you would right. get from that information, right? Brake later. And then you'll go faster in the corner. Yeah. Of course, what happens though, in 99.9% .9 of the time, you break later coming up to a corner, you actually end up going slower. In the you have a break. Exactly. So that being the case, then you then say, oh, well, that didn't work. I went slower, so I need to break later. Mm. And you end up just, and, and of course, the reason why they end up going slower is because the deceleration forces happening so quickly mm. is not the ability to sense the actual speed that they're riding at. Mm. So if I decide to then go, oh, well, that didn't work, I must need to break later then. Mm. I'm actually just making the problem worse. Yeah. So um, really the, the two key things is that they either are in the wrong location or at the wrong speed. Right. The reasons for that, well. Could be many things, couldn't the, it? That's where the complexity comes in. Yeah, right, right. Because it could be anything. References, visual, uncomfortable on the bike, and yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Right. What you ate for dinner last night? Yeah, you know, I mean, it could be anything. Well, there you go. There's a series of errors there, and uh, you know, I'm sure you've made those errors yourself at some point in time. I know I have, and uh, it's important that we learn from those and we don't make those errors again. So enjoy your track days, stay upright, have fun, don't do those errors, and uh, we'll see you out there, and we'll see you in another video. Bye bye.